Good morning, my name is Leilani and today I'm gonna to share with you how, how I do it, basically. It's gonna be our morning routine showing you specifically how we homeschool our family of four while I have a daughter with special needs and has a lot of therapies. She has a lot of therapies. And this day that I'm sharing with you, she has, well, three hours. It ends up being three hours of therapies plus driving time. <laughs> What am I doing with my other three kids? How am I handling this situation? <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna make breakfast, and I want you to put away your laundry. Okay. And I already ate breakfast. I'm gonna share with you how I do it. It's not perfect. Nothing's, nothing's perfect. But this is how I do it. Okay. Naomi, let's go eat. Do you wanna help yeah. me make breakfast? Can you help me? What are you gonna do? Me. You gonna put away laundry too? Okay, go. Yeah. I'm in love with these. I'm gonna stick a link down below. Today's gonna be one of those days. She does have aqua therapy in a pool, a heated pool, today at 9 o'clock. So this morning Naomi has therapy where we're out and about for about three hours. So in her occupational therapy, she is working on feeding, so I always have to pack her lunch. We have some leftover eggs from yesterday, some oranges, an avocado, some yogurt. I'm gonna throw in both of these and a knife. I gotta get her a knife and some napkins. For the rest of them, because I'm trying to get them through lunch, I'm bringing a lot of oranges. I'm bringing a whole container of peanuts and drinks and a lot of drinks. So last night before I went to bed, I made sure to lay out all of their schoolwork, which is right now pretty simple. Lately, I have been really into block scheduling and I'm kind of in the middle of a transition from having a group of schoolwork like spelling, grammar, language arts, composition, handwriting to just one IEW. I love IEW and then I'm mixing in some history with Truth Quest. We're doing ancient, ancient history. So we're today gonna be talking about the Sumerians and what's cool about that is that we can mix in a lot of Bible stuff. So it's like a big package. Lately, I have been really reevaluating the way that I homeschool my kids, just almost like I'm de-schooling myself for the like umpteenth time, but really, that public school system really just gets stuck, it gets stuck in you. I've done a lot of research lately because I am writing a book, I don't know what it's called yet, but it's really addressing the stress that homeschool moms have, breaking through, being free to be who you are, homeschooling the way that you want to homeschool, whether it's unschooling or classical or traditional, or just the idea that it's the way you want to homeschool, the best fit for your family. And for me, realizing what the purpose of public school is, I'm changing a lot, a lot of the way that I think. To sum it up, it was basically based, the public school model was based on the Prussian model, which was the same philosopher who pushed nationalism and inspired Adolf Hitler. I'm not joking. It's gonna be in my book and you could probably just, you could read it online. Like you could read about this. Just look up Prussian model, Prussian educational model. Today I'm gonna kind of be flexible with the kids. I don't know what mood they're gonna be in, but I brought the basic stuff, you know, the phonics and the handwriting and the grammar, block scheduling out language arts. If I don't feel like doing that when I get there, there's always a backup plan.
On the way to therapy, we do listen to some Bible scriptures and kind of discuss them a little bit in the car. And of course, when we get to therapy, we'll just figure out what we do when we get there. All right, are you ready to go swimming? Yeah. In December? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have an hour at this location, and um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a choice. Look what I found. We're either gonna read a book or we're gonna do some written schoolwork. What do you want to do? So we use the Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading as her phonics curriculum for Hannah, but her reading the Bible today was all her. She just wanted to do it, right, honey? Name uh. Adam, which... So teaching reading to Hannah is actually very, very easy. They're quick, 20-minute sessions. And then when it's time for her to read the books, other books, real books, it's the books that she picks out, that she wants to read. Now, books are a big part of our life and our family. We're doing a lot of read-alouds, and her brothers are always reading books, especially this guy. In fact, I've actually had to take books away from the brothers as a punishment, because they won't stop reading them and won't do anything else. <laughs> All done with physical therapy. Now we're gonna be off to One, two, occupational therapy, right? Yay. Yeah. Yay. Uh, no. Yeah, your feet are all wrinkly from the water. Look like realistically, okay? I know it's not really nice to step on ants' homes, but kids like to do it. We're trying to help it. Now you're trying to help it. So once we got home, we unpacked, we gathered everything together, made lunch, and my son, my oldest, my tween, found out that he left something of value at therapist office on the floor, on actually on the concrete. Needless to say, long story short, she has it now. We had to get our mind off of things and sat him down and we started listening to an audio book with the rest of the family, The Indian in the Cupboard. Okay, we read a lot, which you can see, a lot. But I think that eating it during lunch or dinner or breakfast is a really good time to be reading books because everybody's quiet. They can't talk. They can't interrupt you. They got food in their mouth. It was pretty awesome. And it also trains Naomi to just get listening to those books and having that kind of environment. So yeah, we are a book listening to reading type family. Children's books. 
I don't have time to read books that I want to read, to be honest. Let's just, let's just be honest. So next what we're gonna do, finish lunch, clean up, and then just kind of finish up the schoolwork for the rest of the day. I want to end at around four o'clock. Um, it is now about one. Hope you guys really enjoyed this, and happy holidays, like for real. It's that time of year, right? So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and, and you know what, tell me, tell me what you guys are doing for the holidays down below in the comment section, because I'm kind of curious. I'm always curious, right? <laughs> And I hope that you have a wonderful day, weekend, and as always, I will see you in our next video. Bye.